the, the, the uh, culture of impunity. I said, you, I, I, said, I, I said it before. If you want to face the country, face two particular institutions very well. Two institutions. Law enforcement institutions, I mean the police. Mm -hmm. And then the, the judiciary. Indeed. And now, you know, you get when you're talking of the judiciary, you're talking of the body bench and all those who are stakeholders. If, Once we enthrone a regime of respect for law and order, Without fear or favor. Yes. That's very important. Rule of law, law and order. You can well, once you breach the law, no matter your status, you are brought to book. That would be a happy day when Nigeria arrives at that destination. Yes. Uh, good morning, Kayode in the UK. Yeah, good morning, Uncle, Uncle Yori. Good morning, good sir. Morning. Thank, good morning. morning. Thank you for Thank calling you. in. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Uh, now, I congratulate Nigeria on this victory, of course. I have followed this case for a very long time, eh? and then I congratulate Nigeria, I congratulate eh, the previous regime, and I also congratulate eh, Professor Oshibaju, who I followed his eh, review of the case. Now, this case eh, is at the root of corruption in Nigeria, and I want the government to institute a commission to review this case and the judgment and bring out a white paper, and then all the people who are involved or who are educated must be prosecuted. Because we cannot say we are fighting corruption. Well, because what, of, what will have happened to Nigeria if $11 billion came out of our, of our results? This is an embarrassment, but I will want the government to prosecute those who are involved. And there is no need to, to spare anybody in this matter because this is a very, very essential case because it will have ruined this country. That's my contribution. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, uh, for calling in, Kaode, from the UK. It would have virtually ruined the, the country. Countries. And then the reputation of yes. the country uh, as well. Um, so everybody keeps on calling, and I'm sure the administration, uh, you know, is, is listening. Uh, the, 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 we need to know, in line with Renewed Hope agenda, um, that it's not business as usual. Yes. Because these are the kind of things that everybody is now saying that all of this is shrouded in secrecy. And to be, to, 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 to be frank, a, a lot of commentators have said that they're not actually optimistic. Now, I think President Tinobu needs to prove them wrong. Yes. That they're not optimistic that uh, we'll go there. We, we need to go there. We need to do that. And that is what everybody is calling well, in from. Okay. Let us, now that it has been proved that they were about to defraud Nigeria if it had been allowed, uh, now that that has been proved, the next step is... These people need to be named uh, as a sort of a deterrent uh, to those still within the system who are going to want to continue business as usual. As usual, yes.